At the break of dawn on the 7th of May, the temple at Uganda Buddhist Center was seen being cleaned and prepared for the Visak Day celebrations held annually all over the world by Buddhists. Visak Day is the most important Buddhist festival in the world and this time round in Uganda, the celebrations were led by most venerable Bante Bhikkhu Buddha Rakita, the abbot of Uganda Buddhist Center located in Garuga along Entebbe Road. The main celebrations were led by the abbot who led fellow monks, foreign dignitaries, members of parliament, and members of community in deep prayer and meditation while honoring Buddha. As you relax more, actually, you can breathe from the diaphragm and thus you get more oxygen because you're bring, breathing in a full breath, breathing out. Again, areas around the hips, be aware of the area around the hips. In her speech, renowned musician and woman member of parliament of Bugari district, Trecho Magola, who was one of the main guests, thanked the Uganda Buddhist Center for the work they have done for their community and Uganda as a whole. The way the whole country moves. And I was sitting here thinking, wow, Uganda, the whole Uganda needs to build. Other guests also managed to express their gratitude. As a black woman living in the UK, as a mitra at the London Buddhist Centre, I was so proud to hear about this black African monk. Sangam Vande, Buddham Damam Sangam Vande. A procession was held to carry out the ritual of bathing the Buddha, where scented blessed water is poured over an image of an infant prince. According to Buddhism, the prince's image embodies the enlightened presence of the Buddha. According to Member of Parliament Rachel Magola, more Ugandans need to carry out meditation to change the negative mindset. I've realized that one of the major things that support people's mental health is meditation. Because in this country, we notice as politicians, as parents, as leaders, the whole country is in a state of panic, a sense of worry. But when I came to the meditation center, I realized one thing. We need to go back into ourselves. We need to meditate. After the moment of prayer and meditation, congregants, guests, and members of the community were treated to a feast prepared and served by the Uganda Buddhist Center. Outdoor activities so the guests and members of the community be treated to traditional music, dance and drama, organized and led by pupils of the Peace School, which was started by Uganda Buddhist Center. According to Most Venerable Buddha Rakita, Visak Day is not all about celebrations, but also about remembering the teachings of Buddha. I told them about community wellness, social wellness, and which I did already here. We went, you remember, we went to Katavi, and uh, there were people, were old people, we gave them food, but also we start to teach them how they can be together to promote social, to have a sense of community. I'm happy to be here at Buddhist, Uganda Buddhist Center. I was brought by a friend out of curiosity about meditation. And after doing it, the experience was not easy because you have to find your inner peace, I should say. But I think I tried. Each year, the Uganda Buddhist Center has made it its mission to commemorate the day by also giving and showing the people of Uganda something unique but relatable. In 2021, at least 12 novice monks were ordained and in 2022, the celebration saw the launch of the Buddha Medical Center at the Uganda Buddhist Center. Story by Suhail Mugavi.